Do, 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 do. Whoa, uh, oh, mercy, mercy me. All things ain't what they used to be. No, no. Where did all the blue skies? Poison in the wind that blows from the north and south and east. Oh, mercy, mercy me. All things ain't what they used to be. No, no. All wasted on the oceans and upon our seas. Fish full of mercury. Oh, mercy, mercy me. All things ain't what they used to be. No. Radiation underground and in the sky. And the more than birds live by their dying. But oh, mercy, mercy me. All things ain't what they used to be. What about this overcrowded land? How much more the bruise man can she stand? Oh, 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 my sweet Lord. All right, I'm here. Good morning, good afternoon, family. I love y'all. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I really want to thank you again. Honestly, you guys, I can't thank you enough for supporting me, for supporting the channel. I would love to hear. There's some of y'all who comment um, rather sparingly. <laughs> it's a nice way to say it. Rather sparingly. And I really wish y'all we could pick that up. Maybe if we do a few more live streams and once I get this phone set up the way I want it. Maybe that'll help y'all feel a little less uh, uncomfortable about making comments. Because we realize that out of a hundred people, you might get one person to comment. I mean, and it, it's just it's just the way it is. But I, change, I hope to change that fact. And I would hope that some of y'all who've been around for a long time, like Yanni, I, I usually uh, see some from you. You don't even... Uh, comment that much. But I know you're there. So I want to give a shout out to you as well. And some of my Sadie Mae, some of my uh, older subscribers, I really appreciate y'all being there. But I really do wish y'all you would participate a little bit more. I want you to comment and share. Okay? I don't ask for much. Just want a little bit. Not much. Just want a little bit. Okay, this it's about Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears' accuser asked to dismiss the lawsuit against the comedians after accusing them of grooming her for a skit. She says that Tiffany Haddish would never harm me. Okay, what the hell is really going on? Huh? I mean, what happened? The woman who accused Tiffany Haddish, 42, and comedian Ari Spears, 47, of sexually abusing her and her brother has now ended the lawsuit against them. She requested that the judge oversee it and dismiss it permanently. In a statement, she wished Haddish the best while ignoring Spears. The woman previously said that they filmed her and her younger brother in a suggestive comedy video when they were 14 and 7. One video reportedly features Haddish teaching the underage girl how to mimic fellatio, while in the other Spears' rub, uh, in the other one, Spears rub baby oil on the boy's body. Now, the anonymous woman who accused Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears 
again, has withdrawn her lawsuit against them. The 22-year-old woman asked the judge overseeing the case to withdraw her lawsuit with prejudice, meaning it cannot be refiled. The former plaintiff, referred to only as Jane Doe, had originally sued the 42-year-old Girls Trip star and the 47-year-old former Mad TV fixture for allegedly grooming her and her younger brother when they were respectively 14 and 7 years old. Why you do it, Cletus? Why you do it, Cletus? This is crazy. After withdrawing her lawsuit, the woman issued a statement. My family and I have known Tiffany Haddish for many years, and we know that she would never harm me or my brother or help anyone else do anything that could harm us. We wish Tiffany the best, and we are glad that we can now put this all behind us. How much she gave you, Clayton? How much she give you? I mean, really. I don't understand. You could have just not even did that and told her to hit your hand. Now this is a mess because you put that out in the universe. Okay? And we saw the video. So we know you're not lying. So now it's really a mess. Anyway... Notably, Spears wasn't mentioned in the statement at all, though both appear in the, in the clear. Previously, the accuser had called on the, Nat, the Los Angeles County District Attorney to immediately arrest and prosecute, they asked. Now, look at this. The reason for her change of heart after making such a disturbing claim were not immediately known. In her lawsuit, accusing the comics of abuse, the anonymous woman said that one of the sketches of the group film was titled Through a Pedophile's Eyes. The woman and her brother John Doe said that they were forced to participate in sexually suggested acts on camera, which left them with crippling emotional stars, scars they are dealing with yet today. In addition to filing the lawsuit, J.D. sent a letter to the Los Angeles County District Attorney, George Gasson, accusing the authorities of doing nothing about the case in nearly two years since it was reported by their mother to the Las Vegas police in 2020. In the letter, Jane Doe alleges that Haddish and Spears were mentioned by name in the initial complaint and that the LAPD transferred the case to Los Angeles Department, but that the LAPD officer assigned to it has done nothing with the complaint. The matter, breadth, and complex the matter's breadth and complexity require your ju judicial powers and resources to tackle and end the stream of depravity committed by hash. Haddish and Spears, the letter continued. My brother and I are prepared to speak with the investigators and prosecutors from your office and provide you with an irrefutable evidence that substantiates our allegations. I would agree. Earlier in September, Haddish acknowledged her participation in the sketches. What else could she do? And she's right there saying in a statement on her Instagram that earlier in the month that they were intended to be committed but it wasn't funny at all. And honestly, I really I believe Tip Tiffany. I, I I really do. I I believe her. I and unless you can show me proof of something, then again, not a video that's as vague as vague as that. Meaning I would like to hear some children or other people that said that she done something that was unsavory to them. Because usually when someone this happens to one, and if a person is really a uh, pedophile by nature, they've done it to somebody else. Okay? And I agree that hurt people hurt people. But I'm not ready to say that I believe that Tiffany, I believe she was just trying to come up. 
and she did something stupid, it was a dumb thing to do, then she should be the first one to tell you that. But I just don't feel that I could be wrong, but I just don't feel that that's what Tiffany had in her heart. It doesn't, that's not her spirit. Anyway, it was a change in tone after her attorney previously called the allegations bogus. Spears, attorney Spears told the Washington Post that he isn't going to fall for any shakedown. Uh, Jane Doe alleges that their mother was the one that was friends with Haddish who recruited them to participate in the videos. Jane said in 2013 that she agreed to partake in the video, which Spears asked her to mimic a video of women eating a sub sandwich in a suggestive matter, noises and all. When Jane did not do it as she was told, she said Haddish joined in and instructed her on how to give fellatio, including movement, noises, moaning, and groaning, according to the complaint. The complaint stated that the experience left her scarred and fearful and unable to trust anybody ever since. Plaintiff Jane Doe is now 22 years old and has never dated. She is scarred that she will be taken advantage of again and led down a path of false trust like the path that Haddish led her down. The complaint also alleges that the brother participated in a sketch a year later at Spears' home. This was a video entitled In the Mind of a Pedophile, which depicted John Doe as a seven-year-old left alone with a pedophilic babysitter played by Spears. Y'all saw it. According to the Daily Beast, though, John wore his only his underwear throughout the whole video, and Spears rubbed baby oil on his body. By the end of the video, Spears were reportedly shirtless and received a massage from John. I didn't see that particular video, and I'm glad I didn't. John Doe now claims to be afraid of being watched or recorded to the extent that he puts band-aids all over all cameras on his electronics and has lived in isolations, um, has lived an isolated life since the video. Very possible. I don't got no friends. I don't trust nobody. I'm scared of adults. I refuse to be recorded or take pictures because I'm afraid of weird-ass adults trying to do nasty stuff to me again, he wrote in a complaint. I spend all my time in my room, and I don't go anywhere because I don't trust anybody. Hmm. Wow. Anyway, John Doe, I mean, the Doe case was filed. Uh... Pro se, meaning she will be representing herself in the case. In a statement to Daily Mail, Haddish attorney Andrew Breitler said those accusations were bogus and that a host of attorneys who had considered taking the case agreed. The plaintiff's mother, Trisa Morris, has been trying to assert these bogus claims against Haddish for several years, he said. Every attorney who has initially taken on her case, and there were several, ultimately dropped the matter once it became known that her clear and very clear that her claims were meritless and Miss Haddish would not be shaken down. See, what had happened was somebody gave her some money. What had happened was somebody gave her some money. That's what had happened. Now Ms. Morris and her adult daughter represent herself in a lawsuit. And the two of them together will face the consequences of pursuing this frivolous action. That's what the attorney said. But now you don't have to worry about it because it's all dropped. Y'all hear that? Though Haddish acknowledged the videos and voiced great regret about them, she said she could not provide details being that the case was ongoing. I know a bunch of people have questions. I get it. I'm right there with you. Unfortunately, because this is an ongoing legal case, there's very little that I can say right now. I really look forward to being able to share a lot more about the situation as soon as I can. The siblings also said that their mother previously tried to reach a $15,000 settlement with Spears over the molestation video. 
Their mother alleges in a statement to the Daily Beast that she met Haddish through comedy and the two developed a close bond and they were both going through divorces at the time. According to the lawsuit, now Haddish called the family for every birthday and every Christmas. Funny or Die, a comedy website John's video was filmed for, shared a statement which TMZ said it had no involvement in creating an absolutely disgusting, wretched sketch. And it claimed the video was uploaded as user-generated content, but it was removed as soon as they learned of it. Hmm. What y'all think? What do you think, family? What do you think? Do you think Tiffany then gave this girl? Because I know Aries ain't got no money. Aries doesn't have any funds, I don't believe, not to be paying somebody. He tried to sue Corey. So, I don't know. But what do you guys think? What do you think? Inquiring wise, want to know. Okay. Thank you for being out there. Thank you for listening. And if you like what you hear, please like and subscribe and share the channel. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.